The heat cranked up in the same part of the country, the same part of the region as it has been for weeks, and those are the 90s. Billings down to Casper out in the Panhandle, and then central eastern Nebraska. Temperatures just a few degrees below normal levels. Some thunderstorms isolated, breaking down. You can see them from our Viero camera in Holdridge looking north at this hour, and it's a nice day out there. Light wind, south-southwest wind, 6, humidity 65%, temperature-wise 83, and the barometer dropping. It's 79 at Ainsworth, and then those 90s, lower 90s, out in the Panhandle. Again, that's where the state highs will come from this afternoon. 77 then at York, 82 at McCook but mainly 80s throughout the entire region. Most are seen near normal daytime highs. Isolated storms, some have been severe this afternoon. Southwest South Dakota kind of scattered along the front range of the Rockies. This surface low pressure area with the extended front, the most severe weather activity on the leading edge of that boundary. And this is not going to go away. It's going to Hang around this surface low and just sit here, spin time, if you will, and that's going to continue to bring odds up for storms tomorrow night and again on Wednesday when storms are likely. We're seeing all the storm and shower activity associated with that low at this hour in the middle part of the country. Storms scattered in the Gulf Coast to mid-Atlantic, and then that severe weather activity along that front up in the Great Lakes and continuing the seasonal monsoonal flow in the southwest. So here it goes. Okay, it's dropping south, then it's spinning. Here it comes again. It's kind of like a merry-go-round ride, and this one's not leaving the park. It's going to hang on there for a few days. As it finally moves out a little bit, we're still going to see plenty of short waves or disturbances creating the possibility of storms each and every day in this long range, including tonight. It's a slight chance, low 68, 86 tomorrow. Storms then tomorrow night, the odds 50%, low 66. Lows tonight, lower 60s west, lower 70s east, mainly 60s. Highs tomorrow, 86 at York to 92 at Scotts Bluff. We see things warm up. The warmest day Wednesday, we cool back down and just kind of fluctuate temperature-wise through Monday of next week. There they are, lightning bolts every single day for the next seven days. It's still summertime to be expected and there's going to be some pretty significant rain events before this week is over. The best chance is again Wednesday night. Boy, that deal up in Sargent. What was oh, that Friday? Man. What a yeah. mess. That Five was. and a half inches, yeah. boom, all at once. And mm -hmm. that's really how it's trended this year, as we yeah. saw in Kearney. All the runoff from all the areas around and uphill from Kearney, that's what we're seeing this year. Yeah. Terrible. Thank Indeed. you, Kent. You bet.